Today on Mini Days, I'm going to be showing you how I made this cute little chicken wire and nest egg photo frame and this super cute little moss teapot. So welcome back to Mini Days and a big welcome if you're new on here. The sun is shining today, the skies are kind of blue, it really feels like spring is on its way. So here we go with the photo frame project first. Now this photo frame was 99 pence in a charity shop a little while ago. I've used it on a few DIYs. Um, I've just taken the back out and the front is already painted. I've, I'll put a link to um, the previous DIY where I painted this um, just to get it a nice rustic white colour. So I've just gotten this piece of chicken wire from out in the barn. Um, I've just cut it roughly the size um, of the frame, slightly smaller than the, the whole frame, just so that it doesn't overlap on the edges. Then I'm just using my um, electric stapler to secure it on. Now you don't have to secure every little section on because it's not going to go anywhere. So I've just mainly just done the four sides um, and that seemed enough. You can just use an ordinary stapler gun for this. I'm just using this one because I had it handy. And then that looks good straight away. I think that looks really sweet. And then this little nest egg, which was in a pack of two from Poundland, with these ne um, eggs already in it. I'm just going to pop some moss in, just to give it a little bit green. And then I've got a hairpin here, which I've opened out. Then I'm just sliding half of it in the back of the egg, behind the wire. And then that will nicely hook on to my chicken wire. What a super sweet, easy, under three pound little DIY. Actually, I mean, this was even less for me. I'm seeing three pounds that's included and if you have to buy a little piece of chicken wire. <laughs> so uh, that is just that's probably the quickest DIY I've ever done, but really cute and effective. Now for the second DIY I want to show you, this teapot, which was again 99 pence in a charity shop. I've had this a while, I was going to make a lamp out of it. Anyway, um, this moss from Poundland, I've got three packs. I bought this a little while ago and still haven't used it because I'm not used to using this type of moss. moss. It's in loads of little bits and I just was, and it's dry and I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. So I'm going to attempt, <laughs> I'm going to cover this teapot with moss. So I've just used PVA glue. You do need quite a lot of glue for this. Um, I did run out and have to use some more that I had in the cupboard. Um, so this is just basically a case of patience. <laughs> you just need to apply the glue in sections and then just sprinkle on your moss. You'll find that the moss will start to absorb into the glue and get and be, become easier to, to kind of hold on to the, um, to the teapot or whatever you want to cover. So just section at a time, you will find that if you've got sticky hands, it will lift the moss back off as you're pressing it on. So just keep rubbing your hands together um, so your hands are dry. And um, yeah, like I say, this is, you could probably cover anything with this um, actual moss because it is um, it is meant for crafts. Um, but um, as you can see, I've just speeded myself up here because um, this did take a little while, let me guess. I would say probably an hour it took me to do this all together. Every now and again, you might want to just pull off the extra moss. The moss you can see is obviously not going to stick on, even if you press it on really hard. So just pull off the extra moss. Don't be disheartened by this. Um, and then you can just start building a bag up again. Once my teapot was completely covered in moss, I just popped it somewhere in the sun to dry. I left it actually overnight just to make sure it was really, really dry. And then I trimmed off any extra bits of moss um, just so it looked more like a teapot shape again. 
and then I pop some little white flowers in the top just to brighten it up. Then I put my little chicken wire frame just stand behind it here. I think this looks like such a super cute little display. I'll just pop my little rabbit, my jumping rabbit off last week's DIY on the side here and this gorgeous little twig. I'm just putting some little bits of moss just to kind of tie the display together and a few little um, pops of white flowers just to brighten it up um, and just kind of like I say just tie it all together so it looks like one display. So I'm so happy with these super easy DIY. I'm saying easy. They were super cheap. They were under three pounds each. But obviously the um, what chicken wire frame <laughs> took a lot less time than the teapot. So I hope you've enjoyed um, uh, watching this week's DIYs. If so, please give me a thumbs up. I love to read your comments also. So don't forget to do that. And please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 5,000 subscribers. Um, and then, um, yeah, uh, that would be amazing. I'd be really happy about that. So um, I shall see you again over, um, over there. I shall see you again on Friday. And one last thing that's in my mind and I keep forgetting to say it. Is don't forget you can read about this and my other DIYs over on aminidays.com. You can get a free template of the jumping rabbit that you've just saw on the screen there. Which was oh, like I say off last week's DIY. And free templates for all of the designs that I actually draw myself. So I shall see you again next Friday. Have a lovely weekend. Bye bye. To the barn. This is the taller of the two barns that we have. Um, and I know down here there is chicken wire. Yes, there it is. Mm, that chicken wire is a bit big. Do you know I've never been down here? Yeah. Anyway. Let's get back to the chicken wire. Oh, look at that moth, I love moth. This looks smaller. I'm gonna cut some of this off. I'm just gonna cut a random piece off. Okay. It only has to be big enough to do me um, frame. Cut the bits that's not twisted. And it cuts much quicker. Yay. Okay, so I've got my piece of chicken wire. So I'm just gonna take this out of the house. And Our little doggy has just had her booster needles and she just, just seems just not quite herself. Mm. Look at her face. She's just not quite herself. Smile across my face We used to dance out